Oh my gosh, it's Joseph Allen. Joseph Allen! Oh man, she doesn't love you anymore, huh? That's rough. Or you don't love her anymore. You guys have done what people call fell out of love. You see this? This is something that's common, right? But why, why does that happen? Well, let's talk about that. So a, a common typical thing that we see, you know, usually in early relationships, right? People who are dating in like middle school and high school and stuff is, you know, you date for a little bit. You're like, you think you're madly in love. And then it gets to the point where it's like, uh, this got boring, right? Oh, lost my flip flop. Then it gets to the point where it's like, ah, this got boring. So then you kind of get to the point where you decide I'm gonna move on, right? But this brings me to the point love from what I've experienced, isn't a feeling, right? That's romance. Love is a choice. And it's the choice of putting the other person's wants and needs above your own. Okay, so, this is you, right here. This bowl represents you. This bowl represents your significant other, all right? Now, both of these bowls are full of water. This water represents life, all right? So oftentimes we pour ourselves into different things in life, right? So it might be your significant other pours some of her energy and some of her life into work, right? Boom. Also school, right? Boom. Family problem. A uh, family member might die, right? Boom. Drain some more of your life. Um, you know, the list goes on and on and you keep boom, boom. Because you guys are in a relationship and because you guys are trying to be there for each other, what typically happens is you get your bowl and you pour into them, right? To help fill them back up, right? You see that they're lacking, so you try and pour into them. But then what happens is you need to be filled into. So you go and you see your friends and your friends help pour more life back into you, right? And it's a reoccurring cycle, right? So it gets to the point where you might have something going on and you spill out a little bit. And then typically your friends or your significant other pour back into you. But what happens is sometimes we're in a position where it feels like our significant other is pouring out a lot, right? And always coming to us to be refilled. So you come, you try and fill them back up, right? I got you. Then of course something else happens and they pour themselves out again and uh, they come back. Need you and you pour back in. Then something else happens. They pour out some more, they need you. You pour back in, but now you have nothing left to pour. And now you need someone to pour into you and your significant other is supposed to be the one to do that for you, but instead of pouring back into your bowl, they keep pouring out. Now they have nothing and you have nothing to pour, right? Now you're in a position where it's now difficult for you to feel like you wanna be there for that person because you feel like you don't have that much more to give. This is the part where we get what's called bored, right? This is the part where it's like, for some reason, I just don't feel so attached. Now, we're talking about real love, right? So love is the choice of choosing to put someone else's wants and needs above your own. So, this is where things get difficult because in the perfect relationship, whenever your bowl is empty, they're pouring into you, and whenever their bowl is empty, vice versa. And you guys are constantly finding people on the outside to help pour into you guys as well so that way you guys can help pour into each other so anyone who's experiencing something where you feel like you're constantly pouring your bowl into your significant other yet they're not pouring back into you the question you have to ask yourself is when you get drained do you feel like it's worth it to continuously keep filling this person up or should you find someone who can help pour into you as well right and that's what I believe love is. Love is that choice of saying, I'm gonna continue to pour into you even when I don't feel like I got it in me. Can I pour out all of me for you? And even when I feel like I have nothing left, I give you the rest of what I got. That's love. Now look, walking hand in hand with someone, that is not easy, right? It comes with its hardships, but that's when you have to ask yourself, are you willing to give up your bowl for that other person? Because if so,
that's when the bowls connect and that's when they become one. And once you guys become one, that's when you realize what real love is because now your water is their water, their problems are your problems, your problems are their problems. And that's when it's true teamwork.